Look at you. You decided to come to the extra credit puzzle. Good job. I can tell you right now, this one is going to take a while um, to get through the example. But we're going to do it together. So hopefully you realize that there were two PDFs. Um, the first one is an example page, and the second one um, is the actual puzzle that you can do yourself. So you should have the example one out right now with all the rules on it. We basically have um, two jobs in this puzzle. And I'll write them out right here. Um, the first job that we have to do is we have to decide what symbol is on each door. So if you were to actually read the dumb story um, that this puzzle is supposed to, supposedly based on, um, what they're saying is that this is a hotel and each little um, hexagon here has some choices of what could be on the door, kind of like a door knocker or like a, a placard that says what room you're in. Um, and that the you have to decide basically who's staying in what room. And the other thing you have to decide is the path um, that the bee takes between the rooms. So by that, I mean, if you look here, you see how the it enters by the F and then goes to the E and then to the one, two, four, down to the C. You know, you can kind of see the path that it goes through. Um, you can also see that it's going to come in one end here and go out the other there. So this over here, I'm going to leave that kind of covered so that it doesn't bother me while I'm working on this. You can do the same or you can look at it, I guess, but it's hard for me to tell sometimes when I'm looking at something when I'm actually figuring it out myself and when I'm just looking at the answer. So, all right, here we go. So uh, up here on the top, up there, are all the directions for what I'm about to tell you. So you can always look up there if you wanna see it. So what these mean when they're slanted like this is that they mean that these symbols are in the same row. So this symbol right here is in the same row as this smiley face. So um, I believe that's phi. So this one and the smiley face are in that same kind of diagonal to the right row. So for example, it could be like this smiley face right here and this one right there. These two, these two, these two, but it can't be this one right here because that one doesn't have a smiley face that's down and to the left of it. So that kind of lets me cross that off. I'm going to do the same thing here with this one with the B and the face looking to the right. So B looking to the right, B looking to the right, B looking to the right, but this face looking to the right doesn't have a B up there. And this B doesn't have a face looking to the right below it in that kind of diagonal. This next one is a four and a smiley face. Same idea, it needs to be in the same diagonal. So I'm just looking at possibilities. This four doesn't have one that's down into the left. And this smiley face and this smiley face doesn't have one that's up and to the right. So we're just crossing out possibilities right now. Next one is alpha and X. So let's see, alpha and X, these ones are exactly the same pattern. It's just kind of slanting off to the uh, the right going down <coughs> instead of the left going down. So alpha and X, same row, same row, same row, but these alphas are gone because they're not in the same kind of diagonal row. Next one is 2C. So 2 and C, 2 and C, 2 and C. That takes out this C right here. Um, that symbol and the face looking to the left. Good there, good there, good there, good there, but this symbol's gone. 
And then finally there's this fee looking one with a minus sign. See how I already crossed off that symbol right here? That means that this one can't possibly be it. So the minus sign's gone from that one. Here and there, that's good. These two are good, but these two are not good. Speaking of, I'm realizing now that this symbol is the exact same as this symbol up here. So since I adjusted some stuff here, I might as well adjust some stuff down there. Um, this smiley face had to go. And, oh, that was because of the four earlier. Oh, so that actually worked out pretty well. Okay. So the next clue is this one right here. This means that this symbol right here, which is um, sigma, sigma has to be on the left side of E. It doesn't mean that they're right next to each other. Um, it just means that the, the hexagon that the sigma is in is on the left side of E. So this sigma right here is on the left side of, that counts by the way, even though these are technically like right above each other, this E and they're in line, since this like room is to the left-ish of this room, it still counts. And since this one is to the left of pretty much all of them, we're all good to go, except for this one over here because this one isn't to the left of anything. So I'm gonna cross that out, <clears throat> which means the final answer for this room is mu.